This is the evaluation for my fanzine website, Stereo Smashers. Now, Stereo Smashers is about rock music in general. So it's dedicated to all the rock fans of all ages. It could be from a very young age. It could be up to um, about, I don't know, four years old or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's what my website is due to be about. Now, my original intentions, what I planned at first is I actually planned to have like five pages at the start. So um, it was going to be a little bit of a website, but it was actually going to be very informative. But um, what I'd actually um, thought when um, before I actually began making my website is I was going to have uh, quite a few pictures for my homepage. So uh, my homepage was showing like a lot of pictures. It'll be a little bit like the MTV website, and um, yeah. And then when I actually made it, I thought, wow, this looks like a mess. So I had to change some bits on it. So um, I didn't use that many pictures. And um, I, and what I did use, well, I did use some pictures. But I did use some pictures. Um, I used videos as well, and I also used audio files. But as you can see on the homepage, I did use quite a bit of text, which shows the visitor of the website what Stereo Smashers is about. It says, "Welcome to Stereo Smashers," and um, it gives you a little, it gives the visitor a little welcome there. It also has. Um, it, oh, it also it also has the check out the Stereo Smashers main gallery, where um, the visitor can see um, the, can view the artist that was by the fans. It also has a tickets page. It also has a competition space. It also has a rock shop and sessions and com and find out more page. It's going to say competitions there. But yeah. Okay. So um, now my, we're now with my final design of my website. I have created instead of five pages, I created eight pages. Now, um, on each and every page, it is very informative. Like on my history page, I've got text. Um, yeah, I've, I've got text, quite a lot of text. It has the most text out of the eight pages, but it also has images as well. It also has best selling rock albums on the right, and also has um, the 1990s, 2000s, and 2010s rock on the left. And I also have images of like the first ever rock and roll record which was by Rocket 88 by a group called Jackie Brinson and his Delta Cats and that rock and roll originated back in the 1940s and 50s in the gallery I have slideshows I have images which contain light boxes which as you can see there in the rock shop I've got loads of merchandise which also contain light boxes as well and also contains some prices of them so like if you're a fan of Paramore um, you could just buy merchandise from them in the tickets, which is my favourite page out of the ape, you can see you can win tickets to see these artists out on the left side there. Uh, on the in the middle, you got more news on rock, and you also got slideshow here. And on the right, you got a history of Woodstock, which takes you if you click on this link here, takes you to a YouTube documentary on Woodstock behind the music. <laughs> And on the find out more page, which is the less, it is, for, it is still informative, but it's the less uh, informative out of the whole thing. But it just show you like contact information, how you can contact Stereo Smashers, so you can call them. You can visit their Twitter page and you can also email them. You can click on these links, so you like, you got visit rock music there, rock music timeline. Um, what rock singles and artists are currently in the charts on BBC Radio 1. And you can also test your knowledge on rock music at musicquizworld.com. Also in the competition, I have pictures of Phil Collins' signature guitar. And um, you just got to answer the question and contact them if you know the answer. Be in chance of winning. And on the sessions, I've got pictures of people relating to the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And um, you could also click on there and it takes you to a YouTube video of that song and that artist and if you click on there here it takes you to a lot of a, a playlist so you've got queen here you've got kansas boss happiness of, why wait for happiness to happen to you but, uh, see, but yeah i think um my strengths well i think my skills actually um is that um i have learned a lot from um, making this website because i'm learned um, so much you could do on Dreamweaver, much more than what I did in my digital communication one. I mean, my digital communication one, that had less pages, but um, it is simple and it is very um, 
informative just like this one but um, I had less features so I didn't include edge anime I didn't include light boxes I didn't include um, I, did, I, I don't think I included audio files I, I know I include YouTube videos but um, on this one I knew I had to um, include that because I wanted to um, make this website very informative to the visitor so like on here I got YouTube videos I got audio files I got links second secondary navigation which takes you to another page if you click on one word and um, yeah, and yeah that's what happened it now the feedback that I got from my peers I, I suppose I got um, for my strengths I got professional and good use of color lots of choices variety of fonts and um, they like the inclusion of Spotify there um, the negative feedback that I got is that um, Spotify could dominate more which um, I sort of probably agree with um, Spotify could dominate a little bit more it could have been a different color as well yeah I have to say I agree with that and um, the find out more page which I'll show you again uh, it could have had a lot more information as well because that only includes like I don't know mo mostly text anyway it's only got three images one two and three and uh, yeah that's what I do okay now for my uh, time management and my workflow of my website uh, wh what I did is I just tried to um, picture before I actually make the website what is actually going to be on each page so after I knew I was going to make eight pages I wanted to know what I was going to put them so um, and to be honest I actually um, struggled at first but I knew in my gallery page I was going to include pictures slideshows I'll show you that again but one of the things that um, I didn't know I was going to actually put was uh, the use of light boxes. Now I found out I needed to use light boxes when I looked at the criteria so I, w I wanted to try and make them myself but what I actually did was I went on Moodle and I actually um, copied what what I needed to do. I had to copy these um, links that I had to put in Dreamweaver and I had to put them in the um, source code text thing. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, that, that's what I basically had to do. It took a while, but um, I actually know how to do it off by heart now. And um, if I had the chance to do this website again, I would certainly um, do light boxes again. But uh, and I wouldn't even need the instructions because I actually know because it's been in my head for so long. I actually know um, how to make them, and that's what I'd say um, is one of the independent things that I've been working on. Now, my uh, technical competence um, overall, I would say um, that I've been working. Over to overtime and all that. What I mean by that is, um, even after I finish the, um, even if after I finish, well, almost finish a, w a web page, for example, um, usually um, I spend a lot of time overtime, like in the library, trying to get that done because I know that's what I need to get done. So I know I could just think, right. So I know I can go home thinking, right. I've done that page. I've done this page and this page. Now I just need to do these few pages. And then I'm done with the website, and um, that's what I that's what I just wanted to do. I wanted to make it entertaining, which I think I have done with the uh, slideshows and all that. It's not boring because it doesn't because it doesn't just have text, it has slideshows, it has images, it has audio files, it has videos as well, and um, that's what I wanted to do. Now, for my creative ability, um, I would say that um, I have really um, worked independently for that. I've really worked um, hard to just get this website done because um, I am a fan of rock music and I know there are a lot of other people out there that um, are keen to go on a website of rock music and um, I think this website is very informative which is one of the things that I need to do and um, yeah that's that's just basically what I need for it and uh, for, the, for the tutors um, for the feedback I got from the tutors, well, I spoke with Karen and um, she said that I needed to um, indent my text, which is on the history page, I'll show you that now. Now, but basically before, um, my, I'll show you, on this rock and roll page here, the set, um, it was very much spread out to the edges, so what I did is I had to indent this to like 15 pixels, I also did the same with this one here. And um, yeah, that's one of the things that I needed to do. But um, also, I, fought, I was also fought in the competition. I needed to add some more images um, of the signature uh, guitar there. So um, yeah, that's basically what I needed to do. But for the accessibility for the visitors, um, that they would be able to access this website by going on Google. They could type in well, 
if you've already know the Stereo Smashers exist, they can type in just Stereo Smashers and it will lead them straight to that website. It will be the first result. Now, for the um, now, if anyone who is new to Stereo Smashers or hadn't heard of that, they could just type in rock music, and um, they would notice that my link for Stereo Smashers would be there. So um, even if so, it could be like I don't know. It could be like a much older person would be very interested in rock music and they would type in rock music in Google and um, they would find Stereo Smashers there and they think oh, this is a new website and then they would look at it to see the history, everything to do with rock, how to get tickets, how to win a competition and how to find out more on rock and also it also has a quiz and some sessions so you can see your favourite artists performing their... Um, performing their music and their videos and all that and um, yeah that's one of the things um, what I would do to improve this website um, to be honest it's mainly some of the feedback negative feedback that I got from my peers because I would say that Spotify could dominate I probably could um, add more to the find out more page and uh, for the competition I might add a, I could have added a bit more but the ones that I was happy with is I was happy with the tickets pages. Overall, I would say that would be my favourite um, page out of the eight so far. And um, also, I'm happy with the gallery page, the rock shop page, and the sessions page, which um, which, which I really like. You know, I mean, my original intentions with the sessions page was to, was to have like a lot of videos from the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But then I realised they wouldn't all come up at the same time so images I just use because they're much more simpler you could just click on I know Blondie for example and it takes you to a YouTube video of their song Call Me and um, anyone who's interested in that they could just listen to it. But, yeah overall I'd say um, that my website is um, very informative which is what I wanted um, and yeah overall I would say that I'm quite happy with my website and um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually quite pleased with it. I'm glad I added some information, some videos, some pictures, and overall, I'm quite happy with it. And uh, that's my evaluation 